Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Suburban Rifleman. My name is Greg. Uh, unfortunately, the club is still closed and will be for the foreseeable future, so uh, I can't get out there and make any new uh, shooting footage. Uh, however, I have been cleaning off some of my old USB cards in anticipation of making some new videos. And I found some video footage from about two years ago. Uh, we were shooting off the back deck of my parents' house up in Maine. Um, the opening uh, segment clip was my dad shooting the Colt Diamondback. And what follows is just a f maybe five-minute clip or so. Uh, it was an impromptu thing that I filmed off the cuff uh, featuring my dad's H&K USP. Um, the video is not the greatest quality. The audio's not the greatest quality. Um, it features a somewhat younger and somewhat fatter version of me. That was before my doctor really started harping on me about my weight. Um, I'm still not the world's greatest videographer, but I have learned a few things and I've gotten some new equipment in terms of cameras and microphones and stuff like that. So it's not maybe the best video in the world, but uh, I just thought I'd put it out there. I think it's still kind of interesting. And uh, um, again, I can't make any new shooting uh, footage for the channel at the moment. So why not post up some old stuff? Let's take a look. Um, I've done a little bit of research within the last year or so, um, but this really wasn't on the roster for today. So everything that I say here is coming out of my head. Uh, if I say something wrong, please feel free to co correct me in the uh, comments down below. So I'm just talking off the cuff. But we had this pistol here, so I want to talk about it for just a moment. This is my dad's H&K USP. Uh, Heckler & Cuck developed this pistol in the early 90s, and this is an example from the early 90s. As a matter of fact, it still has uh, 10 round well, I guess I would make it after 94, but it's got 10 round magazines. These are the ma magazines that it came with. We've got some high cap mags, uh, but not with us today. Well, actually, we're at the house. They're probably in there somewhere, but I've only got seven rounds of ammo. So uh, the interesting thing about the H&K USP is it was developed as a military pistol. Uh, Germany is a NATO country, so I always assumed that the USP, and of course it's related uh, to Heckler & Koch's, um, the SOCOM pistol, which was in 45 ACP. It's in the same family, but the USP is somewhat different. Uh, I always assumed that the USP was developed as a 9mm, and that the 40 Smith & Wesson was an adaptation of the 9mm USP, but in fact, 9mm USPs are an adaptation of uh, this pistol. It was designed specifically around the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge. Uh, again, NATO uh, was using the 9mm, 9x19 parabellum in, uh, well actually the 9x19 NATO is a little bit different than the 9x19 parabellum, but it's dimensionally the same. Uh, they were using that back in the early 90s and they're still using that. That's still the standard pistol cartridge today, but for whatever reason uh, well, 40 Smith & Wesson was very popular, but Germany developed this pistol completely around the 40 Smith & Wesson. So it's one of the best performing 40 Smith & Wesson pistols out there because many were in fact developed from 9mm pistols. Um, it's pretty cool. It was one of the first, of course not the first, the H&K uh, VP70 was actually the first polymer framed pistol and then of course the Glock 17 came out um, but this is still a fairly early uh, polymer pistol um, but unlike the Glock unlike the VP70 unlike the early Smith & Wesson Sigmas and I think even the M&P series today this is not a striker fired pistol it's fairly traditional it has fairly traditional double action lock work um, it has a hammer, which can be cocked by hand, but unusually for a double action, a traditional double action pistol, it actually has a cocked and locked mode. It has a safety which will lock the hammer in the cocked position so you can carry this uh, in condition 
whatever that is, condition three, I can never remember. Um, and although uh, the frame mounted safety does work very much like a 1911, up for safe, down for fire, if you continue to push it down, it actually works as a decocker and drops the hammer. So as I said, I've only got seven rounds of ammo here, uh, but we'll, we'll put them through just so you can see what this looks like. Again, this is just a quick video. I'm going to post it as it comes off of here with minor editing. So. So that's the H&K USP in a nutshell. It always goes bang even after 25 years. It's one of the most reliable pistols out there, one of the best built pistols out there. It is fairly large. There are compact versions of this pistol. This is the full size version. Uh, but it's just a great pistol. Again, this wasn't meant to be an exhaustive review of the pistol, but it's just a neat one. And since I had it here, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more like it, please consider subscribing. Every subscription goes a long way to keeping me here on YouTube. And if you're already a subscriber, consider clicking the little bell icon down below. That'll allow YouTube to send you notifications when I post updates to the channel. And when I do, I hope to see each of you here at that time. Thanks, guys.